just south of Morley, two or three miles. A little ranch there, you had a quarter section of land and a half section of lease. Ra- raised some horses, uh, and at the same time, he worked on the ghost CB and horseshoe dam. Okay. For Transelda back then. What was his job on the dam? Was he. You know, I remember him telling me at CB Dam there, he run the very first, it was called a gun making machine. It was like a machine that mixed the cement and the sand and blew it on the onto a wall oh, okay. versus forming it up with forms. Right. Yeah. So that was quite an ordeal there. So nobody really knew how, how it worked. He said, so there's a lot of cement at the bottom of that. <laughs> it all slipped off. Because that's pretty early sprayer. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. interesting. And then uh, when he first moved the family out uh, to Calgary, there he was. Uh, his wife had been killed in a train accident. Okay. In, I forget uh, Chicago or somewhere when she was really young, and uh, so he was kind of raising the kids. And when he moved out, he put them all in uh, Woods Christian Home in Calgary. In Calgary, okay. Yeah. And my dad wasn't very old then, but he kind of knew right off the bat he didn't want to stay there. So, so is this? I read a story that he basically flood the, the whole yeah and then you just to lived, to lived by the river for was it a few days or I think just a day or two and okay. then he made his way out west there and so he actually started working for uh, the Brewster family when he was pretty young I don't, I'm not sure how old he was then uh, he was probably like uh, 12 or 13 or 14 or so. what was he doing for the Brewsters was he uh, you know, it didn't take long before he was uh, one of their guides, Wranglers, Cowboys. Your dad and that lifestyle. Because it seems to have been a perfect fit. Yeah, I mean, he was destined to be kind of an outdoor man type of guy. Yeah. Uh, he had a lot of jobs over the years. He'd trap in the winter to make money. Or, right. Or, uh, you know, all the farmers and ranchers out east, he'd go to build some log barns and places for him in the winter. Did some logging for the old logging company in the old days. Okay. Skidding and falling. I remember him telling me when he, uh, when the chainsaws first come out that uh, him and another guy could cut more timber in a day with a crosscut saw than one guy could cut with a chainsaw. Really? Yeah. <laughs> They'd always break the chains. Oh, of course. <laughs> you have to sharpen them in oil. <laughs> yeah. So he'd done a lot of... Uh, 